Today's 4 Deep Sports Talk show is supported by PTU Clinic. Visit ptuclinic.com. Adria's Restaurant and Banquet Facility of East Bridgewater. For more information, their website is adriasrestaurant.net. And the Boston Athletic Academy at bostonathleticacademy.org. Full house as of guests. We have the East Bridgewater Pee Wee uh, Vikings. Uh, they are the Super Bowl. Is it the Super Bowl champions? Super Bowl champions. Yeah, as you can see, we have the trophy here. <laughs> That's awesome. Come on. All right, so. You know, yeah. I'll steal this one. What we'll do is, you guys can steal that mic. You're hot right now, right? Your mics are hot, your mics are on? Yeah. Stop. Yeah, the mic's on. All right, so you guys will share that one. You guys already went through that, right? All right, you know what we'll do? Let's have you guys. We'll start over here. I want you guys to introduce your names and your positions. Uh, my name is Griffin Feeney. I'm a tight end and uh, right DN. Be loud, boys. Uh, my name is Patrick Brown, uh, and I play. I, I don't. I, I don't know. Oh, offensive tackle and defensive tackle. My name is Mason Young. I play center and D lineman. My name is Liam Hickey, and I play quarterback and safety. My name is Lucas Baker. I play. Um, middle linebacker. My name is Ryan Doherty. I play uh, offensive tackle and defensive tackle. My name is Fen King. I play running back and outside linebacker. My name is Damon Saris. I play wide receiver and cornerback. My name is Adam Tiro and I play left defensive end. My name is Andrew Pearson, and I play wide receiver and cornerback. My name is Andrew Coates. I play running back and linebacker. All right. So you know what we'll do, Jay. Why don't you pick up that mic? We'll have them. You can ask your questions on that mic. Okay. You know what I mean. And uh, do you, you have, you're all set. You want to yeah, go, go first? All right. You want to go first? Sure. All right. So just you know, just stealing. Just I'm going with that mic. <coughs> yep. Oh, just don't hit him in the head. There you go. Okay, I'll do my best. Uh, so, would you? What would you say? What's the best part of being football championship winners? Just take the mic and go. There you go. Remember, you're not uh, in class. This is for fun. <laughs> <laughs> um, the boost of confidence after winning the championship. Um. I think it's like that we can brag now and <laughs> say that's, that's say that we won, answer. say that we won the championship. So that's pretty cool. Go ahead, coach. I know you got something. Yeah. Tiro's got something. Um, probably like the excitement after and the celebration. Mm. Um, I'm most excited to get the jackets. <laughs> yeah, I'd yeah, say just like nice the feeling and like. Having the trophy and stuff. Alright. Everybody? I think that's it. Yeah, my my question was like similar to Justin's. Yeah, so Yeah, so I'm gonna move on to that. So I just wanted to talk I just wanted to ask about the season like itself. Like what what was the mindset of going into each game? Um, I was really confident going into each game, and I was very confident that we would win. As Just Coach like King says, act like you're in a war and put on a show. <laughs> Just like Ben, um, I was confident, but we don't want to like make we don't want to think like we're the better than everyone. We don't want to like think we're we're gonna steamroll everyone. Want to be humble. Yeah. Same thing with me. I wanted to build confidence, and I didn't want to think that we could just steamroll every team, but I just wanted to think that we could actually win it and, like, get the Super Bowl win. Yeah, just, like, being prepared to play. And yeah, it was, there was a lot of anticipation with this team this year. These boys have played together for five years now, and all the teams in the league that we were going to face this year knew that they were going to be the team to beat. 
So they had to put in the extra work every week to make sure they uh, lived up to the hype. Right, boys? Yeah. Coach. So for people who don't know, we'll just recap. If you want to call in, 508-222-1320. They outscored their opponents 406 to 32. That is, like, un <laughs> unbelievable. So the only close game they actually had was uh, opening day against Silver Lake, where they beat Silver Lake 52 to 12. They shut out everybody until uh, the Hanson game on the 2nd of October, and, and they beat Hanson Pop One. Hanson, uh, is that Pop One? It's, it's not Pop, it's Old no, no, by it's yourself, old, right? It's Old Colony Youth Football League. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Pee Wee, that's what it was. Yeah. I'm sorry. I missed the abbreviation. So the only team that scored score them after that was Hanson. 46 to 6. So I'm thinking there were a lot of JV kids probably getting more time you know by what, this, then. This group here, out of the 10 games we had, including the Super Bowl, yeah. only twice stepped on the field in the second half of the game. They were already taken off at halftime because it was already 38 to nothing. Right. 30, wow. So we had to take them out and put in the other kids so you know you don't do too much of an embarrassing score. Now, w did, was the Pontiquit the first playoff game? No, no, that was, so the, I Hansen. think what you're looking at on there, I think it's in Regul reverse. It's a regular season? Yeah. How's oh, that's right, it's reverse, yeah, I'm sorry, it's that's right. Reverse, yeah. So. yeah, I should I should have seen right. But anyway. So that 52 to um, 12 was that the was Super Bowl. A, that was the Super Bowl, yeah. okay. Yeah. And that well, was against Silver Lake. How many rounds did you guys have? Just two. Just yeah. two, yeah. so it was Silver Lake and Hanson? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay, so, so basically Hanson was the semis mm -hmm. in the final, okay. Yeah. So let's look at that again. So anyway, going <laughs> moving right along. Um, so they only get scored upon three times. Yeah. Nothing in the semifinals, and then of course the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. But uh, again, thirty-six to eight in week one, thirty-six to six week two. Then in week four, someone it was Hanson who finally scored on them. But I already said this again, forty-six to six, these, and then these guys in unbelievable. The game only played the first quarter. These guys only play? They pulled them out yeah. after the first quarter. Well, thank God it was warm. <laughs> thank God it was still warm outside. <laughs> yeah. Right? Because so it, was, it, was, it the high, was it a higher score in the first quarter? Is that it why? It was the first quarter. Oh, it had. And that game was 28 to nothing in the yeah, first quarter. Yeah, it was 52 quarter. to wow. 12. So wow. we had to we gotta take them out. Mm. Yeah, that could have been been like. yeah, that could have been 98 to 12. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> without a doubt. <coughs> so I just have I got another question. So. I know the coach and staff. You guys never chance to introduce yourself. If you could just step up and introduce yourself, that'd be great. Coach Hickey, I'm the head coach of the team. Yeah, Coach Hickey, I'm the head coach of the team. Coach King, offensive coordinator. And Coach Pearson and I help on the offense. Nice. Now, Coach, you have had this team. You guys have all been together for the last five years, um, correct? I just came back to the team. I coached my other son's team last year for yep. a season to finish. And came back with these guys. I was with them before this. Now, how do we do as junior peewees? How were they? As junior peewees would have been before this one, right? Yeah. So they would have been the, you know, like I the, just need to steal you from oh, them. Sorry, yeah, no, they, that's fine. They would have been like the JV <laughs> team. <laughs> yeah. But um, most of these guys are so good, they played varsity anyways. Okay. So they typically don't play much JV. That's pretty cool. Yeah. They they constantly. So next year, this group's going to move up to the midgets, where they would be. The seventh graders were seventh and eighth graders together, yep. and most of these guys will be starting on the varsity. Oh, that's really cool. So, but the weights get heavier, right? The weight, they go, they move up in weight, right? They do. Yeah. yeah. And is it by grade? Or is it yeah, just, right? you go by grade. So the mites are third and fourth graders. The peewees, like these guys, are yeah. fifth and sixth graders, and then the midgets, their final season, are seventh and eighth graders. That's awesome. That is so cool. Are right, you guys got any other questions? You just dive right in. About the other coaches? They did. They did. Oh, I'm sorry. That's all right. That's all right. No worries. Yeah, I actually have one curious question for yeah, all yeah. of you. So, so do you study your opponents and see how they do on their gameplay? So. Oh boy, do we. We watch a lot of film, and we have to watch film before film night to see if we've actually been watching film. And if we haven't, then we have to run. <laughs> we watch a lot of film. Yeah, we watch well, film and study so their Andrew good tell, Andrew, tell them about how our film is. Tell them yeah. about Huddle, what Huddle is. So we use Huddle. It's an app where, like, people film all their games, and then, like, you can ask permission to see uh, your opponent's games, and you can see your own games. Every, every town's responsible 
to film their own games, and then they have to download them to this website called Huddle. And during the week, you go and you the coaches will speak with each other, send each other messages. Hey, can you send me that game film? So get opponents. So we do one night a week. We usually did Wednesday nights. We would get together. We made a film room. We put a projector in the basement of our equipment shed, and we would sit down there with a and just project it on the wall. And we'd watch our games, so the boys can see what they you know what kind of mistakes they had. We watch their little highlights. Well, not all the time we would do that, but um, and then we'd bring up the other team. And we'd watch and kind of key on their best players and see what we had to do to win. All right, we're going to take our first break. Uh, no, we have a minute. Oh, we have a minute. Left. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm looking at that clock. Yeah, me too. Uh, you said break. You got me nervous. No. <laughs> All right, go ahead, Joe. Uh, hi. Hi, guys. Hello. Um, so I have lots of questions, but we all going to have lots of questions. Um, I'll do it real quick. Uh, what would you say is the your strongest part of the team? I think um, our like running backs and quarterbacks because we're all pretty fast and we can just like truck everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say our defense because we worked very well on defense. We don't let up a lot of points. I'd say our chemistry with e with everybody. Nice one, Mason. Um, our offensive line, um, they can like help a lot so so we can get the playoff. Um, like what Adam said, we have a really good offensive line. It makes it a lot easier to run the football. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, our, our speed. Because because if our line collapse, the ball the goes nowhere. Starts with the line. Yeah. So yeah, it starts with the line. Sure does. Uh, I think our center, we need him to snap the ball to the quarterback. Starts every play. So we can get the playoff. So is that is that everyone? So. So we are going to take our first break. So if you want to call in at 508-222-1320, that is 508-222-1320. We will be right back with more with the East Bridgewater Pee Wee Super Bowl champs right after these messages. Welcome to Physical Therapy U. I'm Kelly Duggan, doctor of physical therapy and the owner of PTU Clinic. Here at PTU, you're more than a patient and we're more than physical therapy. We offer massage, physical therapy, occupational therapy, personal training, and sport-specific performance training. We treat people and athletes of all ages and all levels of experience. Our beautiful 4,500 square foot facility located at 75 Scotland Boulevard in Bridgewater, Mass. is unlike any clinic you've seen. Our large space, along with our new COVID guidelines, allow us to treat you in the safest way. Your success in meeting your goals is our top priority. Whether you're recovering from a surgery or you're elevating your performance, we are the right clinic for you. Call us at 508-697-2000 or email us at ptuclinic at gmail.com. Check out our website at www.ptuclinic.com. A popular destination, Adria boasts a breathtaking panoramic view of nature in all of its glory in each and every season. Upon visiting their 200-seat restaurant, you will see three distinctive areas. The lounge area includes their spacious 26-seat dining bar, high-top tables, and dining tables, all viewing access to seven high-definition televisions and three Kino monitors. A second area set apart from the lounge offers booths and tables to accommodate every member of the family. The third area, a few steps down and separated from the main restaurant by windows, is known as the fairway room. It is surrounded by a wall of windows offering not just a fabulous view, but a feeling of serenity and tranquility. It is a favorite spot for lunch, dinner, and functions. It is a perfect for a romantic dinner, a casual family gathering, business meeting, or any large group for that special occasion. Hello, this is Manny Thill Carmen from the 2007 World Series champion Boston Red Sox. The world champs again. A sports analyst for Nessun. Along with my best friend Jose Diaz, we grew up in the city of Boston, a city that we truly love. Jose and I have always talked about giving back to the youth within our city. Therefore, we created the Boston Athletic Academy to move our passion to action. 
Our goal is to develop future student athletes in Boston by providing a safe location to offer educational and athletic needs. We are taking the next steps and looking forward for your support to reach our goal. Please visit the Boston Athletic Academy.org for more information. Let's make a difference because success has no boundaries. Hello everyone, welcome back to 4 Deep Sports Talk here in the news station 1320 AM Adverb. We are currently highlighting the 2020 East Bridgewater Football Championships. We have a call. And we have a call. Hello? Hello? Where's your hey, hello. 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 Uh, hi, you're first on 4 Deep Sports? Yeah. Yep. Put them on. I played in the Super Bowl too. Can you guys hear the call? It's Jake. Oh, it's Jake. It's Jake. It's Jake. Oh, hey, Jake. Hi. Hey, Jake, what's your question? <laughs> I'm sorry. Hi. Fine. What do you want? Hi, Jake. Uh, you guys did so good in the Let Super Bowl. Let me hang up. Thank you. <laughs> and you guys are the best football team. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank Jakey. You. Thanks, Jakey. You guys played good, too. Hey, what's Jake? Um, hey, what's you guys fought hard. Can you repeat Sing the question? The best football team? Can you repeat the question? Or whatever they oh, have to yeah. say. Yep. How are you guys so good? <laughs> Hard work and lots of practice. Practice. Album. Album. Practice. Talk loud. Yeah. Great coaches. Because you guys work as a team. We work as a team. We work hard and we hustle. Nice. We practice every single day. Cool. Watch film. We don't stop Thank working. Thank you for being such good role models. We have good blocking assignments. We know how to block. Yep. Mm-hmm. Jake, do you have anything else? <laughs> nope, you guys are just really good football players. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thanks, Jake. Uh, do you have any more questions, caller? Oh, I guess he hung up. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Jake. So that was Jake. Yeah, he yeah. plays on the he plays on the mic. He's, he's, he's an awesome guy. Yeah. Nick, question, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll right. go to the mic, Justin. All right. My next question is, what was the hardest challenge on the path to becoming the championship winners? That's a great question. Yeah, that is a good question. Dangerous. Say something. Come on, Ben. You're gonna, you don't want to keep talking. Go for it. Oh, All right. We're on your way, on Damon. Come on. Um. I think it was the championship because Silver Lake is a tough opponent, but at the end of the day, we were a better team. Yeah, yeah just them. never giving up and keep working hard. <coughs> a lot of, a lot of practice. <laughs> <laughs> so these, so these boys, along with the coaches, we have, I think, eight coaches in our group. Um, we meet up and get together the first week of August all the way through the second week of November. It's a long season. The first month in August, we meet together five nights a week. We have games on the weekends. And then once, um, once August is done, we go three nights a week. Then we add in film, so that's four nights a week. And then we have a JV game on Saturday, varsity game on Sunday. The whole season is a grind, keeping these guys on track, keeping them focused. It's a lot of work for 12-year-olds, 11 and 12-year-olds, but this group here, if I said let's go to practice right now, they would grab their equipment and run out to the field, ready to go. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. All right, uh, my next question. Um, I like to compare like a lot of like with major sports and little league sports. Um, are you guys, would you guys consider yourselves more of a pass first or like a run first offense? I think we're a, um, a run first offense because we always hit uh, these plays 
up the middle. I think we're a run first offense because um, almost every play we run, we probably get a touchdown. Um, we do do a lot of passing the ball to our tight end Griffin. He's great, and Skittle and Damon. And we also do, we usually run the ball first, and we usually score first play. So at, at this age level, you typically, you would run the ball 90% of the time. Yeah. It's just, you know, trying to make plays work, having a quarterback that can throw it good enough and know the plays, having good enough receivers. It's still tough at this age group. This group here, we threw the ball all the time. We still definitely ran first, but when teams would have to face us, They'd have to worry about the quarterback and the receivers, too, which you always give them a hard time. All right, so we got another caller. Hello, caller. You are next to appear on 40 Sports Talk. Who am I speaking with? My name is Carrie Pearson. Oh, Mama Skittle. <laughs> <laughs> Mama Skittle. <laughs> uh, hi, so do you have any questions for our guests? I do. So I know that these boys have some great nicknames that the coaches have given them oh, or they do. have given themselves. So I'm wondering nicknames. what Every they would like to, I do. Um, oh, wow. if they could give a nickname like to each one of the coaches, what would it be? Ooh. Uh, if you guys have any nicknames for the coaches, what would it be? Oh, good Lord. Oh, boy. I didn't think they did give us nicknames. I did. I think Go ahead, Ben. What do, you um, ben, what do you got for me? I'm interested. <laughs> <laughs> Big boy. Um, Coach Hickory. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for uh, the call. Papa Skittle. Oh, yeah. Coach Pearson's Papa Skittle. Papa Skittle. Papa Skittle. I mean, we, Skittle. We can go right around here and start and give you their nicknames right around yeah, the yeah, table because yeah. they all have them. Oh, boy. Go ahead, Coach. My nickname is Shark Man. Shark Man. My nickname is Skittle. Little Skittle. My nickname is T. Big T. My nickname is probably Dangerous. Is Dangerous Damon. My nickname is Kinger. <laughs> no, <laughs> Twinkle Toes. Hold on, hey. What, Ryan, who are you? Um, that is not actually, my nickname is Benavicio. <laughs> <laughs> my nickname is Twinkle Toes. Twinkle Toes Hardy. <laughs> My nickname is Shake and Bake. Shake and Bake. My nickname is Hollywood Hickey. My nickname is William Wallace. <laughs> <laughs> My nickname so. is Browntown. Yeah. My nickname is GQ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They all have them. Every kid on the team ends up with one somehow. Let's still hurt my for a second. So I just want to ask the offensive coach. You got the offensive and defensive coach. So you guys were there last year, right? We weren't in the Super Bowl last year. No, no, no. I, yeah. No, I mean yeah. on the team last we year. Yeah. So what did you guys add or change to get them where they are today from you know, different sides of the ball? Well, we got Coach Hickey, which was uh, – he's a humble guy, but he is not just the best coach in the organization. He's probably the best coach in the league. He is the best coach in the league. He's forgotten more about football than we know. But uh, the kids grew. Um, they really listened. We have a dynamic quarterback, which at this level most teams do not have. Our running backs are super fast. But as coaches, we just really uh, – we're not only good coaches, we're good friends, and it makes a huge difference with these boys. Now, Coach, you did defense, right? No, I was, I was offense as well. Okay. Um, but as far as, like you said, we have a great quarterback here, and we, we think we have the five fastest kids probably in, in the entire league. Um, which just allows us to do so many things with these guys and really get outside. And like they were saying, we would literally run one play and score. And if we get called back on a flag, we'd run another way and score. It was like that quick. So these guys are just really, uh, really athletic group, really fast. Excellent. Um, this is kind of like a fun question for you guys. Um, are there any NFL players or teams that you look up to or, like, you're inspired by? <laughs> um, I love the Patriots, and I look up to Gronk because he's just, like, so inspirational. Ah, I like the Buffalo Bills. <laughs> I look up to Stefan Diggs. I like the Patriots, and I look up to Julian Edelman. I still love the Patriots. And I'll also look up to Matt Judon. What about everybody else? Yeah. Are you yeah, other guys get go go Yeah, go, go around. Around. Someone. 
for you. <laughs> Just go around the whole table. Would, 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 would any of these those guys be like your favorite players? Like that was my one of my questions. My favorite player is Tyree Kill. Um, um, I like the Patriots, um, and I can prepare myself to Vince Wilfork. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, my favorite team is the Patriots, but I look up to Tom Brady. Mm. That's not everybody. What about you two guys? Me? No, no, you already said. I don't even, I don't even know. Um, What's your favorite player? My, my favorite team is the Patriots, and my favorite player would be Damian Harris. I also my team is my favorite team is also the Patriots and I also like someone else said I look up to Julian Edelman. Nice. My what favorite. Mason's gonna give you a soccer player. A soccer <laughs> player. He's Scottish. <laughs> he's Scottish and they're a huge soccer family. Who is it? <laughs> or rugby. Mm. Uh, if it doesn't, Mason, if it doesn't, it doesn't. Mm. I just thought you might have a fair player. That's all. Is something you might like you like to check out, you know what I mean, when you're watching the games. Who you want your game to <laughs> yeah. Or who do you want to get? Like what position do you play again? Center. I play center. Center. So do you know the center of the Patriots? Right? So you don't really want should you watch the line when they play? Oh, I'm doing wrong. Do you watch the line when they play? No. no. You just watch the game in general? Yeah. That's fair. Yeah. It is what it is. Yeah. But what else do you miss? Do we miss my favorite team is the Patriots and I probably look up to like Jamar Chase or um, nice. <laughs> or Justin it's Jefferson, right. Stephon Diggs. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you got that? you got somebody now. I like the Buffalo Bills and I look up to Austin Blythe. He's a center in the NFL. See, nice. see that was you. Yeah. Yeah. Write that down because we're gonna quiz him later. <laughs> <laughs> How old do we miss anybody? I think that's everyone. Yeah. Um, I like the Patriots and um, I look up to Tom Brady. There you go. Oh, very cool. So we're about to go into our second break. We got like 45 seconds left. 45 seconds. I want to give a big shout out to uh, Rich Moretti. He probably, you know, <laughs> guys know Richie, right? Probably follows you around a lot, Rich Moretti. Mm -hmm. Great yeah. guy. Sure do. He's um he's he's our little he's our mole when it comes to East Bridgewater sports. So he uh he kept us in there. He's probably listening right now, laughing. Did I mention his name? <laughs> yeah, I think he came and worked every one of our games this year that we were at home. He would come and do the chains. He would come and help out with whatever we asked. Oh, he's totally team yeah. spirit. Total team spirit. Yeah. Are you going to take another break? Oh, yeah. So we got uh, 12 seconds left. Yep. So if you want to call in at 508 222 1320, that is 508 222 1320. We will be right back with more of the East Bridgewater Vikings Pee Wee Super Bowl champs right after these messages. Hello, this is Manny Till Carmen from the 2007 World Series champion Boston Red Sox. World champs again. I'm a sports analyst for Nessun. Along with my best friend Jose Diaz, we grew up in the city of Boston, a city that we truly love. Jose and I have always talked about giving back to the youth within our city. Therefore, we created the Boston Athletic Academy to move our passion to action. Our goal is to develop future student athletes in Boston by providing a safe location to offer educational and athletic needs. We are taking the next steps and looking forward for your support to reach our goal. Please visit the Boston Athletic Academy.org for more information. Let's make a difference because success has no boundaries. Welcome to Physical Therapy U. I'm Kelly Duggan, Doctor of Physical Therapy and the owner of PTU Clinic. Here at PTU, you're more than a patient and we're more than physical therapy. We offer massage, physical therapy, occupational therapy, personal training, and sport-specific performance training. We treat people and athletes of all ages and all levels of experience. Our beautiful 4,500 square foot facility located at 75 Scotland Boulevard in Bridgewater, Mass. is unlike any clinic you've seen. Our large space, along with our new COVID guidelines, allow us to treat you in the safest way. Your success in meeting your goals is our top priority. Whether you're recovering from a surgery or you're elevating your performance, we are the right clinic for you. Call us at 508-697-2000 or email us at ptuclinic at gmail.com. Check out our website at www.ptuclinic.com. 
A popular destination, Adria boasts a breathtaking panoramic view of nature in all of its glory in each and every season. Upon visiting their 200-seat restaurant, you will see three distinctive areas. The lounge area includes their spacious 26-seat dining bar, high-top tables, and dining tables, all viewing access to seven high-definition televisions and three Kino monitors. A second area set apart from the lounge offers booths and tables to accommodate every member of the family. The third area, a few steps down and separated from the main restaurant by windows, is known as the fairway room. It is surrounded by a wall of windows offering not just a fabulous view, but a feeling of serenity and tranquility. It is a favorite spot for lunch, dinner, and functions. It is a perfect for a romantic dinner, a casual family gathering, business meeting, or any large group for that special occasion. A popular destination, Adria boasts a breathtaking panoramic view of nature in all of its glory in each and every season. Upon visiting their 200-seat restaurant, you will see three distinctive areas. The lounge area includes their spacious 26-seat dining bar, high-top tables, and dining tables, all viewing access to seven high-definition televisions and three Kino monitors. A second area set apart from the lounge offers booths and tables to accommodate every member of the family. The third area, a few steps down and separated from the main restaurant by windows, is known as the fairway room. It is surrounded by a wall of windows offering not just a fabulous view, but a feeling of serenity and tranquility. It is a favorite spot for lunch, dinner, and functions. It is a perfect for a romantic dinner, a casual family gathering, business meeting, or any large group for that special occasion. Hey everyone and welcome back to 40 Sports Talk. Here at 1320 AM WARA, we are here with the East Bridgewater Pee Wee Super Bowl champs. So we have another caller on air. Or caller, are you still with us? Yes, I am. Yes, he is. Tell the other caller you're going to call. Just do you have another call on hold. Yeah. Just tell me you're on hold. Do you have any questions for our guests? Um, yes. Um, do you guys have a defensive coordinator? Ooh, uh, yeah, we do. Um, What's the question, Griffin? If we had a defensive coordinator. Who is it? Uh, his name's Coach Doherty. He's very good. He's awesome. Yeah. He's amazing. He's very funny. And nice. nice. Uh, yeah, who's calling? Do you know? We also have another call, so call it, please. Hold on, we'll get to you the next call in a minute. I know who it is. So what was the question? I didn't hear it. I don't know if that said on. He said, "Who is the def defensive coordinator?" Yeah, but I thought you guys blended it all in, don't you? We have another. We have we have five other coaches. You have five other coaches? You yeah, have, yeah. Wow, yeah, we have almost one. fifty kids. Wow, oh, that's a lot. Of kids. So yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so that's his question. Yeah. Right, well, thank you for the call. So take the other call. Drop. Take the other call first. Nope. Take that call right there. Nope. Yep. Take this one. Drop that. One. Yep. Hi, right, you're next on Four Deep Sports Talk. Do you have a uh, question for the guys? I do. Uh, who are we speaking with? Um, this is Skittles' aunt. Oh, oh. that's a question. A Skittle. lot of Skittles. All right, so and then we have another call right after yeah. that. Yeah, she hasn't said it yet. She hasn't. So I have a question for you guys. I got to see some really cool plays. I was wondering if you guys could tell me what some of your favorite plays are. Ooh, um, oh. my favorite play is the um tight end pass, cause okay. yeah, I'm the tight end. <laughs> my favorite play is is called Thirty Six Power. It's when I get a handoff to like the outside, and I always run for a touchdown on that play. So that's why it's my favorite play. My favorite play is the Skittle Special. It's when I get a sweep to the outside. Benny. My favorite play is a uh, Pro Left 25 Power. My favorite play is the fake Skittle Special, Six Gun City. My favorite play is probably the Shoot All Go. My favorite play is probably the Tight End Drag because I run a route that I like. My favorite play is probably the center screen. <laughs> My favorite play is when I get the blitz. Really <laughs> <laughs> honest. Anybody else? That's awesome. Well, thanks so much, guys. And if you ever need anyone to come down and help you uh, toughen you up, Molly Connor, she'll be down there in a second. <laughs> Congratulations, boys. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. All right. Thank you. Yep. So Thanks. hang up that call. Take the next call. Drop that. Take that. Hi, you're next on 4 Deep Sports Talk as we highlight the East Bridgewater Super Bowl Pee Wee Champions. Do you have a call? A question? Yes, Sorry. I do. Yes, I do. Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. <laughs> who who am Mike. Who are we speaking with? Um, Coach Tiro. <laughs> oh, oh, Coach Tiro. Shark Man. Yeah. Hey, guys. Your defense was so strong. You guys did such a great together. How did you guys keep that bond all year long? Um, we're all friends outside of football, so like, we we'd like talk about how we could improve ourselves and like who stands out and stuff. We usually play Call of Duty, <laughs> watching film and stuff, just so we can fix our things that we did wrong. And we've um, all been together for like a really long time, so we're all really close. I look. On, on the line right now is one of our other coaches, Coach Tiro. Excellent. That's his son <laughs> over there, Adam. Our defense was absolutely smothering. <laughs> <laughs> Those boys deserve everything they got this year. I have no idea what he's saying. <laughs> ask, ask him if there's any other Very questions. proud of it. Coach, Coach Tiro, do you have anything else? Nope, that's it. Congratulations, boys. Thank, thank, you, you. thank you. Thank you for thank calling. Thank you. Bye. Bye, Coach Tiro. Bye, Coach Tiro. Thank you very much. Bye, guys. Sharkman says bye. Bye. Yeah, Hello, hey, caller. You are hi. next to appear on 4 Deep Sports Talk. Who am I speaking with? Yeah, my name's Andy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Coach Baker! Hey, Coach, Coach Baker. Baker! Hey, congrats, boys, again. Great Thank season. You. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, boy. My question for everybody is, uh, my question is, other than ho hoisting the championship trophy, what was each of your kind of favorite individual moments this season? Um, this mine? Season? Mine is, um... Go, when, what's the question? Um, what is our individual... Can favorite? you repeat the question? Okay. What's your individual favorite what? Uh, uh, like moment. So mine is obviously when I either make a tackle on defense or like score a touchdown. Uh, my favorite moment of the year was probably when I scored my first touchdown in Rockland. Um, my favorite moment was probably um, my first time getting a sack. Uh, my favorite moment was probably um, kicking extra points. Um, it was really hard. And it was like, I was pretty good at it once I started. My favorite moment is when me and Liam did twins right, and he lateraled it to me. Yeah, that was pretty good. Oh, my favorite part was snapping mm -hmm. the PATs. <laughs> <laughs> um, my favorite part um, is when I tackle people on the kickoff. <laughs> my favorite part of the year is when I scored three touchdowns in the Super Bowl. My favorite part of the year is when I make a good block. My favorite part of the year is when I got through the line and got the tackle, got a sack in the Super Bowl. My favorite part of the year was when I pancake kids on kickoff. Nice. <laughs> oh! Well, thank you for the call. Are you still there? Coach Baker, you still there? Coach, you still there? You still there? No. All right, let's uh, take the next call. Hello, caller. You are next to appear on 40 Sports Talk. Who am I speaking with? Amy. <gasps> oh, it's your wife. Zicky. Uh oh, yeah. <laughs> hi, young, hi, young lady. What's your question for the guys? How do they stay motivated, and what do they do at the end of each game? She wants to know how you guys stay motivated. And what we do at the end of the game. Absolutely. Yeah. At the end of the game, we usually have a speech, and then we do um, Vikings on three, family on six. At the, end of every, no. at the end of every practice game, every time we meet up and when we take off at the end of our practice or whatever it might be, we all uh, get together, put a hand in, and we chant Vikings on three, family on six. That's nice. That's cool. Oh, wow. wow that, is, that is cool. Does, does, the coach, does, Miss, does Amy have another question for the guys? Amy, no do you more have another questions. question? I just want to say how proud of we are. We are, we are all so proud of you guys. 
Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks. Thank you, All right, well, thank you for thank you for the thank call. You. Thank you. Thanks for the call. Bye. <laughs> I have that one. There we go. Why is it going off? Go ahead with your question, young man. Huh? Did you just raise your hand? Mm -hmm. oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, any more questions? Yeah, Jay, why don't you dive into your question? How much time do okay. we have for the last break? Uh, three, three minutes. minutes. All right, so, Jay, why don't you time in your, one of your questions okay. with the guys? All right. What would you say, what's the next big football thing to accomplish next? Um, uh, winning the next Super Bowl. Good answer. I would say this year we scored 400 points, so next year try to get 500. <laughs> I say try and beat Rockland. Skittle, we're not going to get 500. You'll get me thrown out of the league. <laughs> <laughs> 500 points? What, is there anything wrong with scoring <laughs> over 500? If you, if you run up the score too much, and that's why we had to do a lot of things this year to cut back on the points, the head coach gets suspended. Oh. Yeah, because they should think they're Oh, I see. Yeah. I see, yeah. yeah. Even if you put some JV kids You try not to embarrass anybody yeah. or be unsportsmanlike. Yeah. But you, if they can't compete, they can't compete. They get right. Well, yeah. we actually, at one point this year, to save on points. So when you score a touchdown, typically at this age, you run another play and you get the two-point conversion. Like you see in the pros, they just kick an extra point for one point. Yeah. So... Typically, teams at this age can't kick it, can't kick field goals or kick extra points, so you run two-point conversions. But every time you score a touchdown, it's two more points you add. Yeah. So in order to cut back on points, we decided we would teach the kids to kick extra points through the uprights. That's not bad. Which, at our age level, never happens. Right. And we, in what, three days, Damon? Yeah, it's awesome. Figured it out. And from a Friday night to a Sunday, we were kicking extra points. And I think the first game... You tried seven of them, <laughs> six, six, and got one. But you know what? It was the last one. The whole crowd cheered. The refs cheered. I think even the opposing um, team's families cheered just because you just don't see it at this age, and it's pretty impressive. Yeah, I actually wanted to ask, like, so you guys never punted and turned to the ball on downs but, but had four fourth downs all season. What was the moment, momentum like on there? Um, we just don't want to ruin our streak of not letting up a um, first down versus a uh, opposing team. Just uh, our uh, s just our speed. No one can stop us. Yeah. On defense. We're very unpredictable. Like we would do a shoot all go, and then run a dive off of it. So yeah, we're very unpredictable. Hard to stop. We had a bunch of plays. Yeah. Good play calls by the coaches. Everybody? I think some guys are ducking out on this coach. I think some of them are. That's all right. That's all right. All right, so let's take a yeah, small break. Yeah. All right, so if you want to call in at 508 222 1320, that is 508 222 1320. Oh, and make sure to check out our YouTube page. It's called Four Deep Sports Talk. Uh, we would appreciate if you all could subscribe to our channel and call in at 508 222 1320. We are going to take our last break. We are highlighting the East Bridgewater Pee Wee Super Bowl champions. We will be right back with more right after these messages. Hello, this is Manny Thill Carmen from the 2007 World Series champion Boston Red Sox. A sports analyst for Nesson. Along with my best friend Jose Diaz, we grew up in the city of Boston a city that we truly love. Jose and I have always talked about giving back to the youth within our city. Therefore, we created the Boston Athletic Academy to move our passion to action. Our goal is to develop future student athletes in Boston by providing a safe location to offer educational and athletic needs. We are taking the next steps and looking forward for your support to reach our goal. Please visit the bostonathleticacademy.org for more information. Let's make a difference because success has no boundaries. Welcome to Physical Therapy U. I'm Kelly Duggan, doctor of physical therapy and the owner of PTU Clinic. Here at PTU, you're more than a patient and we're more than physical therapy. We offer massage, physical therapy, occupational therapy, 
personal training and sport-specific performance training. We treat people and athletes of all ages and all levels of experience. Our beautiful 4,500 square foot facility located at 75 Scotland Boulevard in Bridgewater, Mass. is unlike any clinic you've seen. Our large space along with our new COVID guidelines allow us to treat you in the safest way. Your success in meeting your goals is our top priority. Whether you're recovering from a surgery or you're elevating your performance, we are the right clinic for you. Call us at 508-697-2000 or email us at ptuclinic at gmail.com. Check out our website at www.ptuclinic.com. A popular destination, Adria boasts a breathtaking panoramic view of nature in all of its glory in each and every season. Upon visiting their 200-seat restaurant, you will see three distinctive areas. The lounge area includes their spacious 26-seat dining bar, high-top tables, and dining tables, all viewing access to seven high-definition televisions and three Kino monitors. A second area set apart from the lounge offers booths and tables to accommodate every member of the family. The third area, a few steps down and separated from the main restaurant by windows, is known as the fairway room. It is surrounded by a wall of windows offering not just a fabulous view, but a feeling of serenity and tranquility. It is a favorite spot for lunch, dinner, and functions. It is a perfect for a romantic dinner, a casual family gathering, business meeting, or any large group for that special occasion. And welcome back to 4 Deep Sports Talk here at 1320 AM WARAN. Oh, do we have a call? We have a call. Oh. oh that's the next call. I'll take this one. Yeah. Hello, caller. You are next to appear on 4 Deep Sports Talk. Who am I speaking with? Um, hi, Baker. Ann Coates. You just took the hey, Ann! Oh. Hey, Ann. How's the fam? <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh. That's all right. How's the fam? So what are we going to do? Who's the first right now? Is it Sarah? Um, if this. you could do any touchdown celebration, Curtis. what would it be? Say again. Oh. If you could do any touchdown celebration, what would it be? Um, we'd do the gritty. Yeah, the gritty. Of course. The gritty. I also yeah. have one. I would do I, a backflip. <laughs> Ryan, you can't even It's not jump. baseball, Ryan. Um, I would Gronk spike the ball. Oh, that's a good one. So, yeah. yeah. Go ahead, Brown, I would want to do a team celebration. Right. Anybody else? Yeah. 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 I think we have another caller too. Do we still have another call on the other line? Um, hello, yeah. Hi, young lady. What's your name? Um, Ann Coates. Hi, Ann. How are you? Yeah. Do you have a, do you have a question? Say again. We, I do. I do. Um, first of all, congratulations, guys. We're all so proud of you. Um, I'm wondering if there's something you'd like to say to your coaches at the end of this amazing season. You guys get that question? Um, yeah. of course. Yeah. All of us would say thank you thank to coach every coach. single coach. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, coaches. Thank you. Thank you, coaches. Thank you. Thank you for leading us to win the Super Bowl. Yes. I think school's All right, we have we, another we call, young lady. Thank you. you for the call. Thank you. I love Bye. You. Bye. 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 Next call. Bye, Ann. <laughs> Hi, you're next on Four Deep Sports Talk. Hello. Hello. Do you have a question for the guys? Yes. Hello. Hello. Oh, you have the radio turned up. Here's, here's a 30 second feedback going on. Okay. All right. That's okay. What's your question? I was going to ask them uh, now that it's the off season, uh, what is their off season program to stay in shape for the following season? That's a great question. I want you to know what your uh, now that the season's over, what you, what's your off season conditioning? For the, for the um, next season, basketball. correct? Yeah, basketball. basketball. And I think that I think Coach King said we were gonna have some like conditioning, like weight, oh, no. like yeah, weight like room programs, yeah, working out, oh. running a lot. Oh. Excellent. Yes. So all of these guys, every one of them plays a sport every season, so they're always active, anyways. Um, 
And then we typically, after the new year, come February or March, we start to do a little um, off-season stuff, just getting them together, because you're allowed to do that now. Um, give them a little, these guys are actually old enough this year too, where we were talking about on the way here, start giving them a little bit of a workout program to nice. do on their own at the Y. Nice. Paula, thank you for the call. You're welcome. Congratulations to everybody. It was a great season. He Thank just you. said congratulations again yeah. to everybody. Who, Great who season. Thank you. Yeah. All right, so if you want to call in, five oh, that was crazy. Yeah, you had all those light, all those. Yeah, I, I, I did not realize there were two calls at the same time. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta turn your headset. Your headset's up. Who was that? Yeah. Who was that? Who was that? It is. Yes, I do. So this is my last question for you guys. Um, is there any specific opponent that you always, you guys are always prepared for every game? <coughs> is there any specific team you guys like always want to make sure you're extra prepared oh, this for? Oh, I have one. I, um, Silver Lake is a yeah. good opponent. Yeah, this like, year it was Silver Lake. Yeah. This year it was Silver Lake. Next year it's going to probably be Rockland. Yeah. yeah. Or Silver Lake again. Yeah, we played Rockland in the playoffs a lot, and this year we had to watch out for Silver Lake. Yeah. But well, we steamrolled them. Last year we had to watch out for Rockland. Don't talk over each other because someone's trying to talk. Who's, what was that? Who's next? Um, last year we had to watch out for Rockland, and this year we had to watch out for Silver Lake. And now next year we're probably going to have to watch out for Rockland and Silver Lake. Yeah. yeah. Right. Mm. Anybody else so, so next year when these guys move up, they'll be the younger kids yeah. of, the, uh, of the next level of the midgets. So it's not going to be like this year. Now, Coach, is They're going to have to midgets? work. Is that considered junior midgets? Oh, yeah, the, you go JV, uh, varsity. The JV, sorry, JV varsity midgets, yeah. So they'll be the seventh graders out of seventh and eighth graders on the same team. So they're going to have a tough season. Yeah. They're going to they're gonna do well, but it won't be like this year. Yeah. And some of the seventh graders are going to have to play up on the eighth grade team because yeah. they don't have uh, very many players. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah, like every like two years, we have to play up with the older kids. We're both going to have wins and losses next year, but only this year we only had wins. <laughs> Brown, we're going to stay away from the losses. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Jay, you got a question? No, I got all mine. I got all my questions. So. Uh, actually, I do have one more. Um, how exactly do you guys evaluate your performance? Like you said, watching a lot of film, I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we do. When um, This year was actually really tough because the amount of points these guys scored so early in the games, the games just got out of control so quickly that we watched our JV group actually played a season and a half this year because they played their own game on Saturdays and half of our games every Sunday. And these guys really played half a season. But um, to evaluate it, we can kind of see what's going on in the field while watching, but when we sit down on Wednesday nights, we all watch film together. We go through every play, good or bad, let the kids um, show us what they think were great plays or bad plays, and then typically we um, just show up with all the bad plays and pick them apart and, and fix them. But that's what we do, and they love watching it, and we do too, so it works out well. Yeah, we used to do the same thing in high school. We used to tell them, film don't lie, boys. No, these guys know the same thing. They tell me great things they did in the game, and I say, no, you didn't. And I say, I'll bet you five bucks when we watch film. It doesn't. Yeah, especially with some blocks. They all owe me money. Yeah, right. I don't. Yeah. That's awesome. All right, so before we forget, let's do the shout-outs, because we're getting around five minutes. There's a lot of people in this room. So let's do the shout-outs. Let's go around the table so we can make sure we get them in. Shout out to your mother, your dog, your cat. Oh, I shout out to my mother. I shout out to my mom and all my coaches. Um, I shout out to my mom and all my coaches, too. I shout out to my mom and my dad, who are probably watching right now. I shout out to my mom, my brother Ryan, John, and my dog, Mandy. <laughs> I shout out to my dad, my brother Nick, and, uh, and all my coaches. I, I shout out to my mom, my coach, and my dog. I shout out to my mom, all my coaches, my dad, and my brother, and my dog, Tillman. I shout out to my mom, dad, dog, and this football team. Manchester United. <laughs> no. Ronaldo. <laughs> <laughs> I, I shout out to my mom, my dad, 
and my brother for getting me to my practices and um, games. I uh, shout out to my whole entire family, but mostly my brother for teaching me everything I know about the game. Hello, caller. You are next to appear on 4 Deep Sports Talk. Who am I speaking with? Hi, this is um, Christine Treviso. I'm, I'm Andrew's auntie, one of the kids who's on the <laughs> right now. Do you, what's your question? <sighs> uh, my question for them is going to be, um, where is your favorite place to go to celebrate after... Oh, I'm going yeah, first. Yeah, I'm going first. Yeah, I'm going first. I want you to know what your favorite place is to celebrate. All right. After, after it's easy. My yeah, favorite, so my favorite place to go is Fiestas. Our favorite place, <laughs> I think all of our favorite places to go after a win is to go to Fiestas. Yeah, we went to Fiestas after the Super Bowl win. What they said. <laughs> after every win, I like to go to the store and buy some honey buns. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> honey bun. That's awesome. Fiestas. All right. Um, awesome. One time after answer. practice, we went to the movies t- um, to see um, Black, Black Panther. Panther. What? Oh, that's a good movie. Is that everybody? Is that everybody? Yeah. yeah. Yes, Just a real quick shout out, though, to the coaches who are on here. They were a great group. We have uh, Coach Taro, Coach Darty, Coach Feeney, Coach Wilder, Coach Goodwin, Coach Shake and Bake Baker. And uh, they were a great group. And the JV kids were on here with us now. They were a huge part of the season, too. Uh, they were tackling dummies. No, they were great kids. They showed up every night with us, and uh, they helped out a lot. So we appreciate those guys, too. Uh, and just a couple other people. Um, uh, Chalk Man's here, mother and coach was our <laughs> team mom. Uh, Rachel Haynes was our weigh-in rep. And um, Chalk Man's father, Scott Coates. Scott. Every, every game, he would make an awesome film, probably four or five-minute film, Put it up almost immediately. We were all watching. It was just, it was great all season long. He, ha- cool. he has an end of the year video. Yep. Yeah. That one's like nice. 10 minutes I'm long. Supposed to be a sub- I'd just like to say something. No Manchester United, Liverpool. Oh, oh, <laughs> he's fixing it. He's fixing it. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Ronaldo is better than Messi. See. <laughs> all right, I know we're running out of time. we got a, maybe a minute left. I just want to say we actually brought oh. you a couple things. Guys. Oh, thank you. Back. So oh, Griffin, wow. let him. Thank you. Start with you. So, Excellent. Um, Try not to crumble them up in a ball. These are the, these are the socks that we wear every game. Nice. It's, obviously, it's not used because that'd be pretty gross. Yeah, but that's true. <laughs> it'd be pretty sweaty too and smell yeah, bad. But thank you. Yeah. Thank yeah, you very know. much. Um, thank you. That's Thanks. awesome. This is this is one of the Super Bowl passes. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. Thank wow. you. Thank you. That's um, really nice of you. I have Thanks. a sticker, and it's like a East Bridgewater Vikings football. Oh, thank Excellent. You. Thank you. I have a golden football. It says EV Vikings on it. That's it's real so gold. cool. Thank you. Oh, Touchdown. Nice. I have a, I have a, a Viking pride sign. Nice. Nice. Well, wow, thank you guys so much. Yeah, we appreciate you guys having us on. The boys really look forward to us to uh, coming here today. They've been looking forward to it all week to end a great season. Absolutely. Thank you. So. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you very much. Thank hey, you boys, so much. how do you yeah. like your bagels? Toast it! For all of us at uh, Four Deep Sports Talk and the station WARA, we want to say congratulations. Great job. Um, we love covering EV. That's one of the time, one of our favorite times. We also broadcast our show out of. And uh, we want to wish you guys the best as you head up to the next level. Thanks right. for coming in, guys. Vikings on three, Thank family on six. Yep. Vikings on three, family on six. One, two, three, Vikings, four, five, six, family. Right. Christian Aldo Ronaldo. See? I didn't get to Say goodnight. Today's 4 Deep Sports Talk show is supported by PTU Clinic. Visit ptuclinic.com. Adria's Restaurant and Banquet Facility of East Bridgewater. For more information, their website is adriasrestaurant.net and the Boston Athletic Academy at bostonathleticacademy.org.